Hi everyone, Nicole Wright here with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine and today I'm going to be creating this traveler's journal using Sizzix designer Eileen Hall's journal Sizzix die. I've already gone ahead and attached the Explore and the Vintage Globe which are also Sizzix dies and I've pre-gessoed a lot of it but I've left the front. So for this I'm going to be using the Prima Heavy Gesso and because I've already added the letters and the vintage globe. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the gesso right over top. All right, now that it's all dry, we can go ahead and start adding some paint on. And for this, I'm gonna be using a collection of my Prima Finnabar paints and pastes. So I'm just gonna layer the stencil right over top. And for this, I'm going to use old silver icing paste with a stencil brush. And I think I'm also gonna add some of this Opal Magic teal pink over top. That's a really beautiful opal-y look. So I just use my craft mat as a paint palette so I can take some of the heavier paint off. As you can see, I'm just moving around the stencil. I'm not even overly worried about where it's gonna go. When you're creating layers, it doesn't really matter. And look at how pretty that is. So for this process, I'll be using a combination of my brushes and I will be using my craft mat as a paint palette. So. For this color, this is called Cool Gray. And you just randomly, in a circular motion, apply color. And don't worry about going right over top of all of your stenciling and your die cuts. The whole point here is to create layers. And I'm gonna use some moss and just dip it right in. If you're not familiar with these paints, they have, a lot of them have a little bit of a gritty texture, almost like sand paper is in there. And it just makes for some beautiful texture. So I'm just gonna use my tapestry stencil by Finnabar and put it right over top and apply texture paste, just randomly. Take a peek, and I'm pretty happy with that. So at this point you can go back and add more paint and go right over top to really expose all that beautiful texture. So you can see that once you add all the paint onto the layers of texture paste and even the icing paste that we did at the beginning, it just creates this beautiful, old, worn looking uh, journal cover. So one of the ways to really help pop this is to use uh, Prima's wax creams. And these things are so amazing because they really add a beautiful vintage look. So I like to use a combination of them and a little bit of product goes a really long way. And again, you can just dab it in and you can use your craft mat as a, a paint palette again. And just in a circular motion, you're just gonna add some of this really pretty patina. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can just see how that beautiful shimmer and it really draws out all that gorgeous texture. All right, now that you've put all the rust effect paint on the front, you're also gonna use the same technique and put it on the insides of your travel journal. And one of the ways to create a worn look is just by taking a baby wipe and lifting some of that paint off. What that's gonna do is allow the bottom layer of the stencil to come through. And now I'm just gonna use some of this elastic 
type thread to put it together so that I have a place to put my inserts or pages. Thanks everyone for watching my tutorial on making your very own traveler's journal. I hope you learned a lot of fun tips and tricks as well as how to use these awesome rust effects uh, paints from Prima and waxes. Uh, you're more than welcome to follow me on my social media. You can find me at NicoleWrightDesigns.com for my blog. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook and have a Facebook page. Have a crafty day everybody.